Is dine-in still not a thing? Can we only do delivery and take out? Crazy! Anyway, that's that. Hey guys, this is uh, Desi from Sweetberry. Uh, Sean asked me to be on the vlog. Right now we're about to do our monthly partners call with Sweetberry. We have about, I think, 10 operating partners that help with uh, operating the business and stores across seven states. Obviously, this is one of the most challenging times for us for because of the uh, pandemic, but we seem to have found our way. Government came through and with some assistance. So we're just trying to figure out what are the next steps. There's a lot of uncertainty of when we can open, how do we open, what our sales will be like, logistics, right? Is, is dine-in still not a thing? Can we only do delivery and takeout? And when is the appropriate time to open? You know, right now, the, the, the most challenging thing is that we have most of our stores in New Jersey, and there is still, you know, stay-at-home orders. Governor Murphy just extended it another 30 days until early June. So we're just trying to figure that out. Okay, so just to give you, um, an update of it, uh, in-app ordering will be live. They're also working on um, website ordering, which is that next phase. Once they have that, we're gonna replace Order Spoon with it. So we'll have one fully integrated system. And the feedback has been really, really positive from the stores and from the customers so far. Uh, it's gonna be a game changer. They toggled it on by accident in Illinois last Wednesday. And within like the first like hour, there was like 12 orders and we, like nobody even knew about it. So that means customers were just randomly going into the app and, and placing orders. So like once we start marketing heavy with it, uh, like I said, this is gonna be like the best, the best tool that we have for recurring revenue. It's so easy for customers. They can fund through their Sweetberry wallet and it works just like Order Spoon in that the transaction goes directly through the Clover. So the payment goes through that Clover in that store just like Order Spoon and it prints out a receipt. So everything will be tracked, uh, the reportings will be updated. I think we're gonna run a promo, we're working on it right now because we're just finalizing the last, getting the last stores live today. I've been working with the stores and Tap Mango to finalize the menus. We're probably gonna run a promo this weekend, $2 off of your first order when you order through the app. And we'll probably end up extending that out for you know a prolonged period because we wanna encourage everybody to download the app and to place at least one order through the app. So even if they have the app already, they'll still get $2 off their first app purchasing. Because the idea is once they purchase through the app, uh, they're gonna do it again. You know, and we'll have data that shows that they purchased through the app and we can remarket to them. We're at Saturday, what time is it? Saturday 5, actually 6 p.m. Uh, Jerry, over here, my buddy over here, um, he has a side business, it's not his main business, where he sells a bunch of hats. Designer hats. Designer hats. All right, so right now, just designer hats. He had, I think it's, you have a business partner? She's the show. I'm She's simply the, show. the business behind the behind the uh, the operations. Awesome, so he stores the hats in a storage space over here. He's picking them up and he's gonna ship them out this week. Sucks. All right, so let's go. Sorry. Here we are, where the magic happens. Chair, why don't you add some context? What is all this? So these are our initial orders that we put in with the manufacturer after we just after we designed the um, the initial designs. And what we're doing is we're trying to get through this initial order. Um, right now we're running a sale. We we've, we've been doing ads. Um, and we've been really picking up business. So uh, we're kind of running a lean team. So every when, when orders come in, we, we take them and, and we ship them. So so that's what we're doing. A couple orders come or come in, trickle in each day. And today it's a Saturday, so I figure I'll make up some time and and uh, and load some of these uh, orders into into the truck. Awesome. Hold on. Wait, you forgot to mention the business name. Oh, Monroe NYC. We're gonna put it right up there. Monroe NYC. Cool. Um, this is Sunday, May 10th at 1.36 p.m. in 32 seconds. <laughs> day 53 of quarantine. Is it day 53? No, I have no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> it's like day 53. Uh, beautiful day today. It's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day Happy to all mother's the mothers day. out there. 
Um, um, and we're just prepping for our podcast. Number five is this? I think this is five, yeah. Is this number five? Yeah. We, uh, we're gonna do Gymshark. Really cool. A lot of people don't know about it. I didn't know about it. I never ordered anything from there. We just but did. We just did. We made our first purchase. What's up, everyone? Sean Azari here. I'm with Matt Scopak. So guys, welcome to Deep Dive Episode 5, where we take businesses and basically dive into them, take their business yes. and marketing strategies such that you can take them away and implement them into your business. And Hey guys, we're currently working on a project right now to, uh, to fight COVID. Uh, we had the idea to help people stay at home or enforce uh, stay at home for people that want to volunteer to do it. Uh, so the app idea, it's called uh, Make Us All Safe Again. And people can voluntarily uh, decide to stay home, stay home as long as they can. Uh, so we want to kind of gamify that experience and reward uh, users that do that because you know, they may potentially save lives, they keep themselves healthy and safe, and uh, potentially others that are keep, keep them as safe as well too. So the idea is you download the app, you set up an account, you take the pledge to stay home, and the app will time you on how long you're staying home, if it's a day, two days, three days. Now, if you end up leaving your home, the app uh, puts a, a GPS boundary around you, and it knows if you leave, and it automatically disqualifies you. You know, so the idea is the, the, the longer that you stay at home, the more points and rewards that you accrue. Uh, you'll be able to invite your friends, compete against them with like a leaderboard, uh, kind of like the, uh, the, the Fitbit app if, you, uh, if you're familiar with it. And eventually we want to have rewards in there where people can uh, uh, earn rewards and, and actual physical things. We put together some volunteers from all over the world. Main uh, volunteer is Martina. She's in Germany and she's building all the uh, designs and, and the UX and the UI behind it. And um, yeah, I'm, we're excited for this to launch. Okay, so you want also all the icons in uh, for EX? Uh, yeah. I, I love the way that the uh, the badges are coming up in the uh, in the app. It looks really cool. People like to like, cheat out of everything. <laughs> of course, yeah. I mean, of course. I, I think I think we talked about that before. You know, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to rely a little bit on the honesty policy too. Hey, what's going on? Uh, it's Monday, 11 p.m. I'm about to hop on a call with my buddy Jason Underberg. He's the founder or co-founder of View Magazine. View is originally was started on the traditional media side where it's just magazines and now they're expanding on the online. Hey Jason, my man. Up, so that's fun. Like when I run a campaign, the way I get a lot of my, my views on YouTube is I run it through social media. So when I tell people to watch it, I'm just gonna tell them to watch it on viewnj.com backslash YouTube versus, versus watch it on YouTube backslash viewnj. You know what I mean? Well, the thing is the difference is you're, if you want to watch like a specific video, you're not going to send them a generic page. You got to send them to that specific video. I don't, I don't have to run campaigns because like I'm getting big acts and I'm getting people that have huge followings. It's like this girl I have this week, she has like a hundred thousand followers and like it's going to just blow up this post. Just That's fine. Yeah, no, you're fine with that. It's only good for like if you're running campaigns. You could also look at this thing called Linktree where you could then set up multiple links on your Instagram bio where they click, it comes a landing page where you could have multiple videos in the thing. Like, you know, you could say, hey, watch uh, this video, episode one. So you could basically say link in bio and there'll be more than one link. Yep. Just don't be too confusing. Don't have too many videos in there. What's more Pura Vita? Show your loyalty and sign up for the short club today. All right. All right. Well, that's the, well, hey, this is what you need to do, man. Make sure you, you show your flat feet. Like anytime, any, anytime I do shit with him, anytime I do shit with him.
All right, so about a week ago, about a week and a half ago, I did the Pure Vita podcast at Scopac. Also went ahead and went on the website, bought two bracelets, just came in. Like I said in the podcast, simple bracelets. This is really a string with fake pearls. I mean, people buy it obviously because the concept, the story and so forth, but I mean, this is just like, it's, it's a string. I mean, leaving this one, I'm assuming this one was the $4. A total of, oh yeah, so that's some. Six plus four, ten dollars plus the shipping, so it's fifteen. But this is it, and then the cost of this, fifteen cents, twenty-five cents. So the margins are pretty high. Crazy. Anyway, that's that. But the most important thing is this is what I wanted to say. Let's check it out together, huh? So I opened up the card, and all these stickers came out. So I got some free stickers which I believe they charge on the site. They are free, which is good. Good for branding. Really cool stuff, actually. I think these are stickers. Yeah, these are stickers. What's up, bro? They did it right. Um, yeah, really cool stuff. Anyway, let's look at the, this actual brochure. I mean, I don't know how many people would read this, but I will because I'm a marketer, so. Pure Vida means pure life in Spanish. A motto to enjoy life's simple treasures, simple bracelets. Our products are handcrafted by artisans around the world and are as unique as the person wearing it. I like that. Every person's unique, their own story. I love it. Great job, Pure Vida. Glad I get support with my 10 bucks. Now back to work.